you're not quite sure what to expect. You, you get pregnant and you have a child and you expect to be somewhere and then you end up in a different place and you think, well, what happens? What do I do? Well, Kettlin was uh, born in uh, December 97 and when he was about, say, four or five months old, I thought there was something not quite right about his development. Luca was born in 2006. He was a happy, healthy child up until about two and a half when we noticed um, a problem with his breathing in the night. Anya was quite independent at first. Um, she needed a lot of support. She had feeding issues. She had feeding as well. issues as well, yes. Basically, Bethany, um, from the day one, we knew that she had Down syndrome, so that was fine. Because he couldn't really do anything, he couldn't sit down, he couldn't crawl. Going and attending a normal nursery wasn't possible. Uh, we didn't know what, we, what what to do. It was devastating, if you like, because we didn't really understand what his life was going to be. When we first realised that Anya wouldn't be able to attend a mainstream nursery at this point, and we found out about Ibont, we couldn't believe that a facility like that was so close to our homes and it was going to make our lives so much easier. And it was brilliant. I was really anxious about going back to work. Uh, I thought, oh my gosh, how is she going to cope? How am I going to cope? Anya is genuinely happy there. She's excited to go in the morning and she's often disappointed to come home at night. And if she's happy, we're happy. Well, going to a bond, I think, opened a whole new world to us because we were able to get support as parents. We were able to get some advice about, around his education and which direction we needed to go in. It was a lifeline, because at this time we weren't, Luca was awake most of the night. And when he was asleep, he had to have constant oxygen monitoring and we were chronically sleep deprived. The bomb was the only place that Luca could, we could leave Luca and he was safe for us to leave him. Anya sees people from the visually impaired team in Ibont, um, physio come and do exercises with her there as well. Sessions in the jacuzzi, which I know she's absolutely loved. They had a light room that we could use and, and I think it played a real big part in Kathleen's development. So we just had so much support off them and I was always crying on their shoulders. <laughs> if a bond weren't there in the future, it would, have, it would make things very difficult for families like us. I've yeah. been able to return to work part time yeah. and we're confident that Anya is in the best hands with the best facilities. Yeah with the most knowledgeable people so close to home. I'm not there now, I'm only there for play scheme, but it's, it's nice to know that it's there for other people. But it, it is, it's an invaluable resource, which if it was lost, I think a lot of people would be affected. Luca then was able to go to mainstream school. He's starting in year four now in September and he's thriving and doing really well, isn't he? Over the past year, Anya's come on in leaps and bounds. Leaps and bounds. And she sits unaided, she's um, almost crawling, she's standing. The things that was important to us was for Kettlin to have a good education. Kettlin now plays table tennis in the British Development Squad and he's in the Welsh Squad. All of that, really, if you look back at the journey, having that support at the beginning, giving somebody good grounding and all the tools that they need to be able to go forward with their life. Um, I just want to say a big thank you to Bond. Um, you've helped us so much. Thank you so much. Thank you everybody. I'd like to thank Bond for all they've done for me and my family. I wouldn't be where I am now. Uh, I'm completely independent and enjoying life to the full and making the most of it. I'd just like to say thanks for all the help and yeah, thanks. I'd like to thank um, everyone uh, at Yvonne. The reason why I enjoyed it was because there's loads of activities and they've really helped me through my life. Thank you, Yvonne.